And finally, the last race on our list is the Mighty Druid. The Druid is perhaps one of the most important uh, races that have ever touched Azeroth, or at least that's what it would seem anyways. A lot of the lore-heavy events were happened because Druids were there or are able to kind of protect things or, or ruin things in a way. So let's get right down into what races can be druids. They can be night elves and worgen on the alliance and only tauren and trolls on the horde. So only four races total can be druids. There is some speculation on whether the night elves or the tauren came first, but I'm sure the night elves would argue that they did. Let's get right into the guide that is written by Blizzard themselves on their battle.net site. It is as follows. Druids harness the vast powers of nature to preserve balance and protect life. With experience, druids can unleash nature's raw energy against their enemies, raining celestial fury on them from a great distance, binding them with enchanted vines or ensnaring them in unrelenting cyclones. Druids can also direct this power to heal wounds and restore life to fallen allies. They are deeply in tune with the animal spirits of Azeroth. As master shapeshifters, druids can take on the forms of a variety of beasts, morphing into a cat, bear, storm crow, or sea lion with ease. This flexibility allows them to fill different roles during their adventures, tearing enemies to shreds one minute and surveying the battlefield from the sky the next. These keepers of the natural order are among the most versatile heroes in Azeroth, and they must be prepared to adjust to new challenges on a moment's notice. A druid can literally be anything in the game. They can be a tank, they can be a healer, they can be a ranged magic damage dealer, or a melee DPS. So let's get down into the actual races that can be druids. Again, there is a lot of lore behind these classes, so to be able to do all of them in this brief uh, introductory class, class rat race guide combo would be incredibly difficult. So let's talk about Night Elves first. Now, Night Elves were actually taught Druidism by Cenarius, with the first one being Malfurion Stormrage, who then led the rebellion, or first he read, led the rebellion against Ashara, or he was at least involved in it. It was after that that Cenarius taught him and others how to become Druids. Now, Worgen are actually cursed with the curse of Goldrin, who is in aspect kind of, if you will, of the of Azeroth. Uh, basically, they became feral, but with the ability to, uh, with the Night Elves purification, they can gain a little bit more control of their druidism and their and their curse. Their curse becomes a blessing, not necessarily a, a curse, and they and they become stronger druids because of this. Now, Torn, it's, be, it's been argued, had actually become the first. Uh, the first druids ever to exist, but it just simply cannot be confirmed. Whether it was by Cenarius, which is to be believed, or by others, it's not exactly known. Now, the trolls were introduced as a druid in Cataclysm, and it is believed that they learned this power from the, the isles that were a little bit bigger, um, the, the fullest extent of the Echo Isles, anyways, and who was in charge before that. And, of course, they practice their, their religions, which very much involve uh, the transformation of trolls into, into other types of creatures, such as panthers and, and tigers and hawks and eagles, and we've seen from Zolgarub and Zolaman. Now, since the choices given to the uh, since the choices given to the druid are so small, and there's only four, I would argue that all of them can be druids. However, night elf and Torin would make the best druids from a lore perspective because they have the most history in the art, and it would just make sense from a lore point of view. To get a little bit more precise, Torin, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but Lore-wise, you can be a male Night Elf Druid to fit the standards a little better. Or, of course, after the Third War, the females Night Elves were allowed to be Druids and taught Druidism. So you can also be a female Night Elf. And with that, our little race and class combo guide is concluded. 
Again, if there is anything you want me to expand on in future videos, for instance, if you want just a druid lore background video, please let me know in the comments below. Doing all of these in one video would take a ton of time to really flesh out, so I tried to do it in the best way possible. It I didn't focus a lot on what, uh, what race is best, because all of them are good. It's just from a lore perspective, some are a little bit better than others. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please leave a comment in the comment section below to let me know if there's anything you would like to see in the future, as well as your own suggestions on this own combo guide. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender.